In the previous video, we completed the parts for the pair cam and follower, and now we're going to uh, assemble them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my revolution constraint. I'm going to choose the center point of this hole right here. I'm going to angle it a little bit more so hopefully I can see it better. There we go, to the center point of my, oh, wrong one, but to the center point of my cam. So there we go. I want that center point of my hole. Let's angle it so hopefully I can see. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to accept that. Now we can always test that and spin our cam, and it does spin. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my sleeve here, and I'm just going to arrange this so it lines up with my cam. Now, again, because we're working in a three dimensional space, uh, that isn't quite defined uh, because we're working in empty space. Uh, this is eyeballing it up, but if you were making this for real in your part, you would obviously uh, have this constrained correctly to an actual object. So I fixed that part right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a slider. I'm going to do the center of this to the center of this. Green check mark that. Now I can just simply slide this up. Uh, not a big deal. We, that's what we have that constraint there for. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come here to our tangent constraint. And what I'm going to tangent constrain is the bottom of this uh, follower. And what I want to constrain it to is the complete edge of this face here. So I can green check mark that. So what should happen now is, now obviously you can see, we see I have an error with that. So I'm gonna delete that off my tangent constraint. I'm gonna move my follower up and let's try that tangent constraint again. Again, I'm gonna choose this face here. See, I chose the edge. I actually want the face. I want the face of this. Let's zoom in. There we go. And I want the face of this complete as well. Oh, and I need to flip it on its axis. That's why. So I'm flipping it on its axis. So I did have it right. I just forgot to flip it. So what I can do then is come to my Revolve Mate. I can animate. I'm going to choose a loop on this to have it go. We'll make it go a little bit quicker to 100. And then what we're going to see is we have that cam and follower. It rises the tangent surface of the pair, and uh, it slides up and down with that constraint. So I hope this helps as you're looking to incorporate uh, cam and followers into your projects.